Hello friends, my name is Joe, but you can call me Bander. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we finished off the events in Charlestown, and in this episode, we are going to head off to a new world. But first, let's take care of a few things. Right over here, you'll see a tiny little blue mark over here, which is known as a Trinity. Now, when you have Sora, when you have Sora Donald, and Goofy in your party, you can activate these Trinities using a special maneuver, such as this. This is the Jump Trinity, only usable with blue Trinities. And this leads you up to this nice ledge where you can get this lovely treasure chest. Ching! I got a postcard. Let's go mail that. Mail card. Methyl shard. More useless accessory items. Now, if we go in here in this lovely item shop, we will find we can go talk to the owners. And what do you know? It's Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Donald's lovely nephews. They would like to sell you some lovely potions, high potions, ethers, and stuff like that. They'll also sell you equipment for Donald and Goofy, such as these amazingly awesome weapons that are very good right now that I can't afford. So let's see. First off, before we, before I decide to buy anything with my very limited amount of funds, let's take a look at Sora's this new ability we gained by Sora. Sora has. Sora, Donald, Goofy, and all your party members will have AP. AP can be spent on abilities. These will give you um, different types of evasive maneuvers, attacks, all kinds of fun stuff. Sora's first ability you get is Dodge Roll. So I will equip that, and this gives me an awesome rolling ability that lets me evade enemy attacks for a quick amount of time. Very, very useful. I wish this was in the second game. Everyone does. Actually, it is in the second game if you have the final mix version for Japan. The scale. You can see Zora's, Zora's weight. Wow. He's not very heavy. Now let's check out what we got from defeating that lovely boss, the guard armor. Let's see. We got a brave warrior, which raises our max HP and strength. Ooh, let's equip that right now. I don't really care what I give to Del and Goofy right now, as they should be fine by themselves, but let's see what uh, Sid has got in his old accessory shop. Now right here you'll notice there's a green trinity right here. Right now we do not have the ability to access green trinity, so we will leave that for now. Now Sid's got some protect chains, ability suds. I don't really have any abilities, so I don't really care about that. Uh, the only enemies that are going to that are going to have elemental or be fire for now, so... but I'm not too concerned about that. Protect chain. Kind of... What of items do I have? First off, I know Goofy had these abilities. Jackpot is a party ability that raises the amount of uh, HP and MP balls that are dropped in battle, as, as well as money. Uh, equipping it to entire, the, the entire party will boost the effect of it. Rocket is a goofy only ability, which he will show off eventually. You'll you'll know it when you see it, because it just sort of flies around the screen. Donald has no abilities, and so we're just gonna uh items what do we have for stock? We have plenty of potions, a couple of elixirs. So let's get Donald a lovely protect chain. Protect chain. Now Donald hopefully won't die as much. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure we can do something with this fireplace now that we have fire magic. Fire! Is that it? Alright. <laughs> Okay, so this would be a good time for me to explain magic now that we actually have some s a spell. Magic is the blue bar in the bottom right corner of the screen. The magic is... when you use a magic, it'll take away the amount of MP it costs. Fire will cost you one MP, which will take away one blue bar, or a charge bar, I th think. See ya. Yeah, charge bar. Okay, see it. Fire. Such and such amount of times. If you go over save points, the magic points will be restored just like M HP. And magic can also be equipped to the shortcut menu by pressing the L1 button. You can see your list of shortcut spells. Currently, the only spell we have is fire, so that'll be the only spell in there. 
Elix items like elixirs and ethers can restore your MP. And that's about it. That needs to be explained for now. So, let me think real quick if there's anything else we can do here. So, I'm going to I'm sure we can get a ton of this building. Let me go with this guy. Someone just texted me. I can't go read it right now. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. Click, click. Postcard. Come on. Potion. I want to get over there. I want, to, I want to unlock that door. So I'm gonna head over to Third District real quick right now, and I will coming over here into the Third District. You can head over to this nice little keyhole. Come on, come on. Face it. Face the keyhole. Come on. Stupid thing. There we go. And that'll open it. So now we have a nice little shortcut back to First District. Let's This one, I believe, just drops a bunch of money and maybe an item or two. No treasure chest, though. Money! Yay! How much money do we have? 208. Sweet. I think I'll buy some this is stuff from the item shop before we head out. I'm here to shop. Bye. Let's see, 200. By the Morning Star. That sounds pretty good. Let's get that. Donald, Ninja Staff, Morningstar. So now we have a boost of something or another. I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Let's set off to our first world. I guess this is the first world. This is the second world. First travel world. Hey, look, it's Chippendale. Alright, this is the World Select Menu. Dun, 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 dun. Here you can select the worlds you are going to travel to via Gummy Ship. Now, after leaving Travis Town, you have a choice of two options. One with a battle level of one, and another with a battle level of two. We are going to go to the battle with battle level one, because I'm not too sure how I would do at the level I am at battle two. Level two. Just head out rat. Now, traveling to worlds takes a whole new game, game mode where you'll be in control of the gummy ship and you'll have to fight your way to the worlds. It's not too difficult of a task, but later on it becomes fairly difficult. You might want to upgrade your gummy ship in order to uh, traverse the harder areas. And now we only have a little laser, which should be able to do it now. Enemy ships... Drop little things like shields... Attack boosts, and such and such. Blueprints for more gunships, lots of that kind of stuff. But other than that, not a lot to do with these, just sort of. Actually, I had something better to talk about than this little bit of setting. You can uh, break with the circle button. And that's about it. Gummy gummy scene or sections are a lot better on the second game. The first one is like 
do 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 Fuzzy circular items that the enemies drop, those are blueprints, you want to collect those. Ouch. I see a new world. Wonderland. Land of Alice in Wonderland. Disembark. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> Goofy likes to relax when he's descending into the abyss. <laughs> and thunk. Oh my fur, this is... I'm late, I'm late! It's the white rabbit! Catch him! <laughs> He's a little odd one. Surprise! Wonderland. Very, very strange world indeed. That's a lot of doors. Whoa. This is small room. What am I supposed to do here? How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. Talking doorknob. <laughs> hmm. oh. Very sleepy. Talking Must doorknob. you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. <laughs> I need a bit more sleep. Wait. Ooh. What do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? So the doorknob just recommended to a 14 year old child to take drugs so that he thinks he's really small. Okay, let's try it. Heartless. Kill. Oh. Fire Heartless. These are the introduction of the Mage Heartless. They are elemental based. Each one contain their own specific unique element. This one's are fire ele elements, obviously. They can shoot a fireball at you and charge you with fire. Not too difficult to defeat, and they drop magic orbs. They will restore your magic. Trinity, can't do anything about that. Now, how are we supposed to get through that door? Wake up! Wake, Wake up! Does not seem to want to wake up. So, 
More drugs! Who keeps texting me? Push this bed over here. We have unlocked a brand new passageway. And so after that, more drugs! Keeps texting me. I'm gonna have to find out who that is. Give me a moment. All right, sorry about that. I had to figure out why someone was rapidly texting me. Who do we have here? Seems like a courtroom of some sort. <laughs> Court is now in session. I'm on trial. Huh. I wonder why, why that rabbit's eyes are bloodshot. Her Majesty, mm. the Queen of Hearts, presiding. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why... That is so unfair. I agree, well, good evidence. anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The, the court finds the I'd like to see this rule book Guilty that talking charged. about. For the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right here! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh huh. It's the heart one. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. Yep, we have proof right here. Alright, so she's asked us to go find her some evidence proving Alice's, Alice's innocence. Which we will do next time on Kingdom Hearts. See you then.